that is no twos and that's all i can put in right so we lose all of those which is very unfortunate Hey everyone, this is Attack and today I will be playing through a game of the For One series, a solo series designed by Rennick Nizia. Um, so that is really exciting. We have like these four games, Galactics, Number Up, Schwarze Rosen, which is like Black Roses, and Kniffel, which is Yahtzee. And today I will be playing through Kniffel, so Yahtzee, um, as a solo version, which is pretty cool. So I'll be playing through all four games on my channel. Um, I don't know in which order I will um, release them, so it's possible that I've already released a video before this one. All right, so this is Yahtzee. Um, um, the format I thought of was just playing through the games, um, at least showing you like the low challenge levels to kind of give you an idea how these play, and then um, like give you like a short unscripted review. Um, little spoiler alert, the reviews for all of four games, uh, all the four games are pretty similar because I like all of them. All right, so. I will not do a montage because um, I will just kind of show you how to set up the game because there are different versions of setting up the game. So first of all, um, uh, you just put the board here. So you see it doesn't quite fit on screen. That is not too bad because I will just pull it up so you can see everything that is necessary here. But I just didn't, didn't want to pull out, like zoom out too far, right? Um, so we always put out the board. Um, and then we take um, the components that are mentioned in this challenge booklet here. So we have the challenge booklet with uh, several chapters with, let me just check again, five chapters. So all together there are 25 levels, 25 challenges. And I will just play through level one today because it's quite similar to level two and also not too far off of level three and four. I will talk a little bit about more about like what awaits you later on uh, when I review the game and talk a little bit more about it. All right. so. Today we will play through level one and we see what we need here. So we need 70 dice. I think that's all of them. And what we do with these dice is we take them all, come on, and we put them here on this uh, small uh, podium, so to speak. And also we take out these here. Uh, let me just take them out here. And then we will put them right, right here. Um, just one beside each of these rows. Uh, these are now in German down here, um, but um, I will explain them to you. They are quite easy to understand, I think. So um, this game, as far as I know, currently it is only available here in Europe and Germany. To be frank, if you're able to grab a copy of this, I think you should be able to um, play the game after having watched my video. Um, otherwise, let me know in the comments or just contact me any other way as usual, right? in case you have any further questions. All right, so kind of like this, right? We set them all right up besides these rows here. Um, we have these dice here, and that is already set up the game. Um, it's actually quite simple. Um, so we have the challenge booklet here. There are also some tokens and a yellow die here. We need these for later challenges. I will show you later how that works, and this doesn't look good on camera. All right, so. And actually, the rules are really simple. I mean, if you have played Yahtzee, you know that the rules are simple. Here, it's a little bit different, but not too different. So, um, you see, like, we have, like, this rules booklet here, and this is just, like, four pages. And, like, the real rules are only, like, these two pages here, right? Let's just immediately go into the game and play it. Um, you know that um, there are several things you need to get in these rows. Usually, um, in a regular Yahtzee game, you would take five dice. You would roll them and then you have like two re-rolls of as many dice as you want to. For example, if you wanted to go for sixes, then you could take these three, re-roll them. Oh, none there. And you could roll them again. Or you could switch, right? Uh, switch and re-roll something else. But after two re- Oh, <laughs> that's actually a pretty good roll. That's a very good roll, actually. But after like three, two re-rolls, so three rolls backs, you're, you're done. And then you need to like work with these dice, whatever you have. Usually it's a roll and write game where you have like a sheet of paper and you just write in whatever you got. Right? Um, in this game, this works a little bit different. Um, we always take five dice at the start of each round, um, like we do in the uh, in the regular game. But the difference is there are no rerolls. I just take these dice, I roll them, and then I have to work with whatever is in here. Oops, that was a three. But I am able to uh, like put them in different rows. I could like start something, put something here, and then I could put something, I don't know, uh, put something here, you know, so I could kind of, oh, that would be stupid, like this, I could kind of like, um, like put them in different rows, but if I, 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 I may never run, run out of dice, otherwise I lose the game, right, and we definitely don't want that, 
because you always need to roll with at least five dice. If there are no not five dice left in the supply, then we immediately like end the game, which is not good. Oh, by the way, I can just use that roll that I just had because that was a pretty good one. Let me just quickly go through the categories here and then we can start like distributing our dice here. All right, so the uh, categories here, ones, twos, threes, fours, five, and sixes, up to five because we only have five dice, right? So um, I could like start putting like fives in here, right? And as soon as I say, I'm gonna end that row, I'm gonna put these dice back in the supply, then I have to um, like count up the points here. And that's how many points I get. The more fives I put in here, the more points I get, right? Of course, like each five is worth five points. Each three is worth, worth three points. Then we have the bonus here. The bonus I will explain later. That one um, gives me um, points depending on how far I got in these rows, right? Um, and then here, three of a kind, four of a kind, like three of a kind would be three fives, for example, four of a kind, um, a full house, it's like two of the same and three of another same, um, a small straight, one to four, large straight is two to six, and then a kniffer that is a Yahtzee, that means like five of the same kind, five of a kind, and chance I can put in anything. Um, so that's pretty easy, but there's like something that we need to know. Um, for three and four of a kind, I still need to fill the entire row, right? So put in like, for example, if I had three fives, that would not be enough. I would still have to put in something else. It doesn't really matter what I put in here, because I only get like 15 points here, no matter what I put in here, which is a difference to regular Yahtzee. Regular Yahtzee would give you like points for the uh, for the pip values that you put there. That's not the case here. Um, yeah, that's pretty much all we need to know. And um, the game ends in several ways. Either if I can't take five dice out of the supply anymore, um, or if I have um, if I have like finished all 13 categories here. Then the game ends, and then we count up all our points. We will be playing um, the level one. Oh no, wait, where's the uh, challenge book? Right here. Um, we will be playing level one today. Um, that means um, here we see like the points that we need to get, right? Uh, for bronze level, so our minimum we need to get is 240 points and we will get gold ranking with 300 points. And that's something I will talk about a little bit later. All right, so I suppose, I suggest we can just get started. So I'll just roll these dice. So I don't have any re-rolls now, but what I can do is like, or what I have to is to attribute these there. If I don't want to attribute one of those, I can do that, but I have to take it out of the game, right? And we don't really want to do that, right? We don't want to lose um, any dice. So uh, let's see, we have a few threes here, a five. You could take the three and the five and start working like on some like uh, straight stuff, but I think like three threes is pretty good. And I will actually put those I could put those here, but I could also put them like in three of a kind. Uh, you know what? Let's put three of a kind later on. Let's put three threes here, the one and the five. That's pretty useless. But I could start working on these traits. Can I do that? Hmm. Yeah, yeah, you know what? Let me do that. Okay. That was the first round, so to speak, right? I don't want to score anything. So I'm just going to take five new dice and roll them in here. So the insert is kind of cool, right? Because you have your dice you supply there and you roll them like in this little dice tray. Um, but there is like like a lot of room still in here. So I think I will like after having recorded my videos for the channel, I will combine some of the games into the same boxes, put them all in one or two boxes, depending on um, how I can make them fit. All right, we have another three, that is good. Also, we have a four, a six and a three. That is pretty good as well. You know, we could actually put like three, four, six here. So we have this straight almost done. And the two fours I would just put here. I'll just put them right there. I think that's fine. Two, four, five. So now I will have to score something because I only have two dice in my supply after that, right? And then the game will end. So we don't want that. Um, so we don't have a two here, unfortunately, but we do have four, two fours, which is pretty good, actually. Uh, five, six, one. These are all not too great. I can't really do a whole lot with them, so I will. You don't want to put like in uh, dice in too many rows because you want to score them, right? If you don't score them, you don't get them back into your supply. But I will do it like this. I think like this it works. Now we'll have to score something, otherwise I can't continue the game, right? So I will score the fours. So what I will do is um, I will I, I I managed to get until there, right? So what I will do is I will take all of these back into the supply, and I will put that marker here like this so that I know. Okay, I reached 16 points, right? So for the end of the game, I know that. And that's great 
first I thought these would be like roll and write games. You would have like a sheet of paper and write everything down. But that is a great idea to incorporate all of that because you don't need any sheets of paper. Sheets of paper. So then you might have to like get again when they're empty, right? You can just do it like this, which is really good. All right, so let's start the next round. So I will have to score something next round. So either let's hope for a few threes, at least one, maybe even two, or let's hope for a two. That would be enough to get all of these back. So let's see, we don't have a two. Oh, and fours we have already scored. Oh, so this is not a good situation, right? I was just, I, yeah, I was, that was not clever to go for that many rows. So I will have to score a row now. Um, Two sixes, I can't do anything with these fours. I will put one, f oh, I don't know. Oh, that is kind of tough. So let me put that one here. Let me two put the two fours here for a three of a kind. And then let me put the two sixes here. So I will have to score something, otherwise uh, we end the game. So I will have to, mm, I could score, no, let me score these three sixes here. So that would be 18. So I will just take this one here and put that right there, like this. And that's not quite enough. I still need to score something else. And I will score these three threes as well. I think this will not be a good score this game. But yeah, okay. It's better than nothing, I suppose. All right, let's continue rolling. A two, please. Yes, we have our two that we need. I will put that right here immediately because I want to score this. Um, and then we have like two more fours. Well, we do have our three of a kind that we can use, right? So let's put one there. These doesn't matter but what I put there. Um, so can we use anything in a good way? Yeah, let's put a five right here and a two and a four right there. I think that is fine. Yeah, that is fine. So we'll score the, um, the large straight here. So let me just put that right there, 40 points. That's fine, I will get those back. Um, I will not score anything else yet. Let's just keep rolling. All right, so we would have a one for up there. A three for the small straight, I would definitely use that one. Um, a five, I would put right there, that is good. Um, and then I can't do anything good with the six, so I can put that right in here. Um, one and three, one I can put up here, that's fine. And the three, I will just put right there. I think that is okay. So um, we can score our, four, uh, our three of a kind. We have three fours, right? The other two don't matter. Just matters that we have dice in there. So that is 15 points. These go back into our supply. And here we have the small, oops, the small straight, which gives us another 30 points. Okay. So let's take another five dice. Uh, I would like a few fives. Mm, that's one at least. Okay, that's better than nothing, I suppose. So six and three, we can't do anything with those really, right? I could use two threes here for the full house. I think that wouldn't be um, too bad. And then put another five here. I don't have to score this round because we still have enough dice here. Uh, two and six. I might actually put them here into our four of a kind and just see what happens with that. Okay, because um, I can just score the two, four, fives. That would be okay. Um, and we don't have another one, so we will have to score those probably. So let's see, we have two ones here, which is also nice. I could put them there and we can just score those. That wouldn't be too bad. We also need to start working on our Yahtzee actually, right? Um, but I can't really do that yet. So we put another three here for the full house. Um, and with the four and the six, I can't really do a whole lot. So let me put another six right here. And the four, hmm. Yeah, let me put the four here as well. We, so we need two sixes here to finish that one off. All right, I will score the five ones here, which is five points. Not a whole lot, but the position of these actually matter. So you see, I'm trying to go for three at least, right? Um, I will show you that in just a moment when we score the bonus. All right, so we do have another five. That would be really good. We have another six, so we... Oh, I made a mistake here. I can't actually do that because I need four of a kind. I kind of missed that. Um, so you know what? Uh, let me just remove one die to kind of correct that, but I will not put that die back into my supply. I will actually remove it from the game, just to be fair, right? I kind of missed that. So let me put another six right here. Um, and then I need any other number here. No, I need another six. 
And here I need two of the same, which I don't have yet. Ah, so it's kind of tough to see what we could do now because I will actually lose something here. So let me put, let me put maybe a four here to hope that we find, get another four. Um, I will have to remove one die. Well, I have the chance. So let me put like, let me do like a, let me do ones here and put a three right there. Chance, I can put in anything, right? And when I fill that up, I get like 10 points. All right, let's score the fives here. That is 25 points. That is quite good. The rest isn't that great. All right, I have five in my supply. I will use those immediately. So we do have a six here. That is really good. And here we need another four, which we also have. And then uh, I will put in a one right here to hopefully get closer to our Yahtzee, which gives a lot of points. Three and five, I can't use anywhere. I only have twos left and the Yahtzee and the chance. So uh, I will just put these two then down here so not to lose them. All right, first let's score the four of a kind, um, which is 20 points. Oops. And then we score the, uh, the full house, which is a another 25 points all right so we're getting close towards the end as you can see so let me take these five here we have two ones Ooh, that is good so we only need twos a one and whatever so we can take these whatever in here but now you see the three we can't do anything with that right so we need to remove from the game because we cannot use it then we can score our chats which gives us another 10 points. All right, so we need a one and twos. That's all we can work with. Two, four, five. We can roll two more times unless I can score something. So let's hope for a one at least. We have a one, that is perfect. We can put that here. We can put a two here in the rows of twos, which I haven't done yet. And that's it. All of these I cannot put anywhere. So we lose all of those, but we can score our Yahtzee here now, which is called Kniffel in this German version. And that is 50 points. All right, let's roll all of these. That is no twos, and that's all I can put in, right? So we lose all of those, which is very unfortunate. And that's our last roll now, our very last roll. And we have only one two. That is very bad because my strategy here did not work that I had, but that's the way it is. So now uh, we score these two twos because these all um, are lost and we have four points here and what we do now is now take that bonus one and we check like the lowest uh, column we have achieved here which is 15 points had I just had one more two that would have been another 20 points so we actually did not do well today at all so I was a little bit more risky than usual that's why um, we don't have that many points but I think that's still fine it's still kind of demonstrate how this game works so let's count up all our points that is five nine plus nine that is 18 then plus 16 we are at 34 uh, plus 25 that is 59 plus 18 we are then at 76 if i'm not mistaken no 77 actually then uh another 15 that is then 93 then another 15 which is then 108, then plus 20, and uh, let's say plus 45, that is 153, that is 183, 223, 273, 283 points. Actually, now that I look at it, it's not, it's 282 actually, so yeah. So that is, uh, let's look at the ranking. If we take out the challenge book here, 282. Oh, actually, that's not too bad. Yeah, well, we got all of them down here, which is like really a big deal. We lost out on a few here, but actually 282, you see, we're still silver rank. And just 18 points more, we would have gotten gold. So had I just had one more two, then we would have like easily gotten gold. But I mean, that's the, like the first level of 25, right? So of course, that one is still quite simple. But that is how you play Kniffel in the War for One series, like Yahtzee. 
Let me um, say a few words about it, how I like the game. So I already spoiled it at the beginning. I like the game a lot. I like the entire series, to be honest. Um, this takes, yeah, this really gives you the Yahtzee feeling, right? You're trying to fill these rows. Um, it is missing that you can reroll your dice, which is like one of the main mechanisms in Yahtzee. But it has been replaced with a uh, with a mechanism that lets you like divide your dice between several rows and kind of also push your luck, right? I mean, the more rows you invest into, the higher the chances you have to score something prematurely or you have to throw away dice, which is like really bad, right? So, um... Uh, that is a pretty good move, actually, um, which I did not expect to like too much because when I first read the rules, I thought like, oh, you don't have the rerolls. Oh, man, that is what's really important for Yahtzee, right? But this version works really well. It is a lot of fun because it's much more puzzly than the original Yahtzee and it still gives you that feeling, right? Um, so I really, really enjoy this design. Also, um, the components are totally fine. Like this is really thick cardboard here, really good quality. These all look nice, these dice, they're standard, but they have a nice quality, they're not too large, which is good. In this game, you don't want huge dice. Um, they could have also like gotten away with with larger dice, but then again, well, it kind of would have worked, but I actually like these smaller dice in this game here. Just makes it a little bit more portable and whatever, lighter, so I think that's quite nice. This game is a really good solo version of Yahtzee. If you enjoy the gameplay of Yahtzee, I can highly recommend this. But this is not where we stop because we do have that challenge book and that is like the main meat of the game. Because playing thus, just this game, like I played it today, it's fine. You can play it, but it does have the same issue as Yahtzee. It is quite samey, right? That's why we have 25 levels and these are not the same. The next one is pretty much the same level again. Um, the only difference is you only have 15 dice, All right? So you remove two at the very beginning. All right, sure, still fine. But later on you get like other, you get other like tokens that you put on the board. You like, they always like have like really great sch uh, schematics here to show you like where you put uh, which tokens, right? And which rows and whatever. And we have like different tokens here. So we have these, for example. These tell you if you put these like at the beginning or uh, like at, at the front of a row, it tells you you have to gain at least 20 points here. If you don't, it's zero points, right? So um, like, for example, let's say this would have been there. Um, then oh, well, that wouldn't make much sense. But let's say, just say it would have been here, right? So it means um, usually I need, I get like 15 points here, right? If I fill the entire row, but like the pips, pips have to equal at least 20, right? So that's something that we have to work with. And that kind of then goes in the direction of how Yati is really played. That you don't get like 15 points for three of a kind, but you actually get like the sum of the pips. That's kind of like uh, that idea, just a little bit different. Or you have like these uh, fire tokens. These fire tokens can be put here at the very end and tell you, okay, you have to put something there, otherwise you gain zero points, right? Um, so that is something that is quite interesting as well. Um, so, and there are even more of those. I think something to re-roll here. And then you also get like a few bonuses. Like you have like these, um, like the other side of these, some of them at least, have like this times five modifier. That means like um, you get like time five, uh, like five times the amount of points for this row. So you really want to focus on that row or like get twice the amount of points. And for twice the amount of points, you can actually turn these over and then you see like, oh, twice the amount. That's really cool. Like really well designed. And there are more things you get, like an extra die you can use. And there are just more and more things in these 25 levels. And these are quite different. Of course, the same main principle of the game is the same. Of course it is. But you see like there's so many tokens you have to put here later on um, that really, really make the game a lot harder, which is cool, which is really interesting. Well, I think these, um, these make you like put specific numbers on these spots in the row, right? Which is really interesting as well. So uh, very, very well done. Um, I wasn't quite sure, to be honest, how a solo game series designed by Ryan Knizia would be like, um, because he's not known like for like just solo endeavors, right? But it works really well. I'm really surprised. And this is an amazing game. I will not give it an award yet. It's sort of like an Ace of Games award. It will get one, but I don't know which one yet. That's because I will have to play it a little bit more to get like a feeling of like what award it deserves in my opinion. But this is something that I can highly, highly suggest to anyone who likes either Yahtzee or like really well-designed, small, simple solo games with a lot of decision space. And that's what the game offers, which is really great. Well, and that marks the end of my playthrough of Kniffel, or also called Yahtzee, that's part of the For One series designed by Rainer Knizia. So I highly, highly suggest you check it out yourself. All right, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. As usual, I'm thankful for all of your support. I especially want to 
give a shout out to my Patreons who are very generous by supporting me on Patreon. The biggest thanks goes out to Thakonor, who is the most generous supporter at the highest tier. Thank you so much for that. There's a lot you can do to support me by just liking or commenting under my videos. You can also subscribe to my channel if you want to and also support me on Patreon. But you can also join my Discord server in case you would like to hang out with me and my really amazing community. All right, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the very next video or on my Discord server. Take care, everyone. Stay safe and cheers.